A Sussex soldier who lost both legs to a landmine in Afghanistan is now using his own experiences in going through rehabilitation to become a personal trainer. Ben Stoughton from New Haven was injured on his final tour of Afghanistan in 2012. He says his story can help inspire other amputees and help them both physically and mentally. Maria Ramos reports. This is former British Corporal Ben Stoughton in Afghanistan. In 2012, he was injured by an improvised explosive device and lost both his legs while helping a fellow soldier. Today, back home in New Haven, Ben is about to embark on a career change as a personal trainer. I'm different to the other personal trainers uh, in the fact that I've got two legs missing and I'm, I'm not sitting there doing nothing. I'm, I'm working out in the gym, I'm, I'm getting on and I'm doing something with myself. People come up to me and say, wow, seeing you with no legs, it, you know, I've got no excuses now. I'm going to get in there and I'm going to work harder tomorrow. Ben has already inspired his local gym members, even before qualifying as a personal trainer. I see Ben training quite a lot, and to be honest, he is an inspiration to um, uh, able-bodied people as well as disabled people. Everyone's got an excuse why they can't train, but he just motivates so many people in there, especially me, to be honest with you. We as a gym are a local community gym that hope to inspire other people to sort of keep up with their health and fitness, and Ben in himself is just an inspiration to sort of the local community and the members here. But it's not just his local community that he's encouraged. On social media, Ben's created a group called Amputees Who Lift, with nearly 5,000 followers. Your spirit of determination is palpable. I can really feel it. Tell me, what goes through your mind? What keeps you going? I'm pretty self-determined and pretty self-driven, so I set myself little goals every day, whether that's in the gym or in life, and I aspire to meet those goals every time I set one. And by doing that, I'm always busy. If I'm busy, then I'm always focused, and that's what keeps me going, is that self-drive and determination. Next month, 31-year-old Ben will start his personal training course. A new life for him, and a chance for thousands more to be inspired. Maria Ramos, BBC South East Today, New Haven.